Invest at Lost Time for Cryptonomics, and it appears the race is on. China, ladies and gentlemen, is officially in the blockchain race and the crypto well, world. I think it's time to dig down into the rabbit hole. The world just got bad, and the system is broke. Now, I'm not trying to scare you people, but more prepare you for what is coming. I mean, I will say what I'm seeing here will make the Great Depression look like a cakewalk. Bitcoin versus gold. What's the best investment in an economic crisis? China is getting ready to open the trap door on the U.S. dollar. With China's growth threatening the global dominance of the United States of America, it is no surprise that we are entering into this stage of the fight. I would bet that the Chinese government right now is either mining or they're accumulating Bitcoin in secret. China is about to announce that they, in fact, have a crypto coin backed by gold, and the dollar is toast. The dollar's going, like every other paper money in history, to zero, like every piece of garbage fiat money before. Everything is China's fault. China owns and controls Bitcoin. Nothing can stop the China train. Don't get sucked into the punch and Judy of red being mean to blue and orange man bad. They're all controlled. And this makes a lot of sense. XRP 1% are called the Jewish secret code numerical system, Gematria, is a special language the elites use. A fish would be the last animal on Earth to find water. They've sucked us down so many rabbit holes now. Hello, ladies and germs, and welcome to the show that brings you true stories about real people who have been fucked over by the man in the financial global gaming system. Down the hole, the only show that tells it like it is and will blow your mind to absolute shit. Now let's a go a down the hole. First of all, I want to say thank you to our two new subscribers this week, uh, 007 Red Serpent Phoenix and uh, Vagina Blood Farts is uh, 69. Uh, there's a Z on the end of farts, a very clever name. Uh, thank you guys very much. Down the Hole is a fairly new show, so if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. You can even hit the bell, because that helps bring people to the channel. And we need to get this information out because this shit is real and this shit happens and this shit happened to me. And well, that's what today's episode is about, your host. And my story is completely 100% royally fucked. So let's go a little further down the hall. My name is Bill Williams. I was born in Chicago, Illinois. I come from a very, very, very long line of corn traders. Actually, on April 3rd, 1848, my great-great-great-grandfather was there day one when the Chicago Board of Trade opened up. Since then, my great-great-grandfather, my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my father, my uncles, my cousins, basically, if you were in my family at one point or another, you worked at the Chicago Board of Trade. I worked there when I was 16 years old. I was the youngest fucking prick on the floor. And my first day was the busiest day of the year. I, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, right? It was this chaos, it was madness. People were just fucking running around, bumping into each other, yelling and screaming. And I'm standing on the edge of the corn pit and I look over and I see my father across the way and he fucking is grabbing this old man by his shirt and tie and he's fucking lift him up in the fucking sky. He's gritting his fucking teeth and he's about to kill this motherfucker. And I have this father-son primal animal in the jungles instinctual moment, which is crazy because I wouldn't expect to have this with the old man because I didn't grow up with him. I didn't live with him. We, I would have more thought that I would have something like this with my mom because she was this weird spiritual. <gasps> yes, that was vibration, wasn't it? So anyway, she comes later in the story. So anyway, I see this, my dad's about to kill this fucking guy, right? So I jump off the back of the corn pit and I run around and I push these two fucking traders out of the way and I jump in the fucking air and I'm about to fucking punch the guy right in the fucking face when this, this dude, Scott, also works for my dad. He grabs me, he's like fucking pulls me and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, man? They would never go to blows in the pit. The fines are just ridiculous, bro. And I'm like, all right, cool, Scott, chill, chill. So anyway, the next day, this fucking dude my dad almost killed he didn't show up for work a couple more days go by still he doesn't show up the weekend happens and then monday 
Everybody's talking about it on the floor. The guy was found in an alley, stabbed to death by a number two pencil. Look, I'm not saying that my dad ordered the hit. I don't know. I actually don't know. But what I am saying is that there are fucking secret backdoor Illuminati lineage handshakes going on right fucking now in bathhouses with dudes with giant mustaches with cigars up their asses making these deals just to fuck over the little guy, the fucking citizen Joe. And how do I fucking know this? Because me, I was a fucking guinea pig in one of their scientific laboratory financial rat game bullshits. And yeah, fucking, I'm sure some of you are sitting there right now looking at me going like, oh, look at this fucking crazy conspiracy theory nut. But no, if you just sit, actually sit there and listen to me for a few minutes, maybe you will fucking get it. Okay. So here's my story. I met this Chinese chick at a Bitcoin convention in 2017. Her name is Su. Or Su. S H E with a above the E uh, above the E. Uh, I say it right maybe once every ten times. I don't know. She's beautiful. She's my fucking dream girl. She's perfect for me. You know everything is perfect except she doesn't speak any English and I don't speak any Chinese. But you know it's modern times, so we have translation apps. So boom, we can communicate. You're a vagina. So uh, we get married two months after we meet in December of 2017. This is right when Bitcoin is hitting its all-time high. And I, it, well, if you don't know what Bitcoin is, you can go to my channel and I've already made a video that explains what is Bitcoin. Bitcoin, a digital currency. So we just got married, Bitcoin has hit its all-time high, and I decide to put my savings into Bitcoin, thinking it's gonna go up. No, no, it doesn't. It just goes down and down and down and down. So as time goes by, I lose 25% of my savings. And I also lose my job. This kick to the curb, fucking cold turkey, fuck you, pack your shit and go. No loyalty, no love. Just fucking out on the street. And Bitcoin continues to go lower and lower. And there goes my savings. I lose another 50% a total of 75% gone before I cut my losses and get out. And we find an eviction notice on the front door of the house. So now I've lost my job and we've lost the house. No house, no job. At first we were kind of having fun with it. We were staying in hotels until we ran out of the money. Then we did some house sitting, couch surfing, and then all of a sudden we were sleeping in our car. Same time, I'm looking for work. I'm doing temp jobs that don't fucking lead to anything. I, I'm doing Uber until I crash my car with two nuns in the back seat. So now I don't have a fucking car. And if I did, Uber wouldn't hire me back. I even tried to do a YouTube cooking show. Chop your butter into tiny little squares. Then put it in Tupperware and put it in the refrigerator. Then drink vodka for 45 minutes. And then it happened. It was December 21st, 2019, and I'm sitting in a coffee shop, just looking for work on the computer. And I'm on a job search site, and all of a sudden, this random page pops up and just, just flashes a number. There's no name of a company, there's no email, there's no nothing, just a telephone number. So what did I do? I called that number, and a guy named Rabbit picked up. My phone call with Rabbit was confusing. He spoke in riddles and code. And after a circle of misunderstandings, I finally got that he might have a job for me. But he didn't tell me what the job was. He told me nothing, actually. Rabbit said if I wanted a job that I'd have to come meet him in downtown LA at 2 AM in an alley. The whole setup made me nervous, but I had no choice. I was out of options, and I needed my bad luck to change. I had no idea what was coming around that corner for me. Uh, what? Oh, what?
What's that? Oh, Wait, I can't hear. I can't hear. Back away from the car now. Back away from the car, okay. Box. In the box. Box. Okay. I'm in the box. Good. Good boy. Now, sit. I'm sorry, what? Nothing. Forget it. I was just checking. You hear about the job? Yes, I'm here for the job, yes. Great. You must be Bill. Uh, yeah, I'm Bill. I'm Bill Williams. You're, you're Rabbit, yeah? Yeah. I, I, I'm Rabbit. Bill Williams, huh? Yeah, I'm Bill. The Bill Williams. Well, I, I mean, I'm a Bill Williams. I don't know if I'm the Bill Williams. You don't know. Well, perhaps therein lies the problem right there. But here's hoping the dull edge of a butter knife might prove itself useful. V. Bill. Nah. You're kidding me. <laughs> I'm crossing timelines. Let's talk, Turkey. You need a job, right? Yes, Rabbit, I do. Right. Sadly, we have not the moments to toy, as this case is time sensitive. There's no time to waste, as there is some travel involved. It's all very classified stuff. Very exciting. An adventure made for a guy like you. Where the horse runs, the stampede will trample. Have you decided? Oh, um... I, well, can, I mean, can you... Can you tell me at least what the job is? Shh. They are listening. It's a delivery job. This is all the information I can give you until you sign the contract. Delivery job? It's legal, though, right? You can't crack an egg if the egg hasn't been mass-produced yet. And it does come with a wonderfully large paycheck. Well, then I'll do it. Excellent. That is just your classic general standard contract, mumbo jargon, blah, blah, sign your life away type of deal. <laughs> it's just a joke. It's just a joke. OK. Um, I'll sign it. Uh, do you got a pen? Well, all right. Looks like this soldier is ready to party. Mr. Rabbit, um, I haven't worked in two years, uh, and I've lost a home, and I lost a car, and I don't want to lose my wife, so I'm a desperate man. Uh, I'll basically do anything. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Please, don't let me interrupt. A few musts and ifs. You must tell no one. You must keep the package hidden. OK. If you lose the package, mm -hmm. if you die, kill someone, uh. miss the deadline. If you get kidnapped by a mob or the cartel, if you get raped, if you get someone pregnant, if you get pregnant, yeah. if you contract malaria, whooping cough, shingles, or any other virus or sickness, if you get busted by the cops, if you fail to complete the mission of delivery in any way, for any reason, any and all liabilities fall on you. You will be on your own. On my own, OK. OK. Stop. Get back in the box. Back in the box, OK. I'm going to roll my window up. Then you walk the contract to this door and put the contract in this bag. It's in the bag. I'm going to go back to the box. This Christmas night, you must deliver this package to a person named Sir in the city of Chicago, Illinois, at 11, 11 p.m. at the corner of Van Buren and LaSalle. Do not be late. Of course, if you are late or fail to deliver, you get nothing.
do us proud. This ain't the Roaring Twenties anymore. It's a whole new ball game. I'll, I'll do my best. Good luck, Bill Williams. Hey, 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 hey! How much do I get paid? How much I don't... Sue and I couldn't afford to fly on such short notice, but I was able to max out our last credit card buying two train tickets to Chicago. If we were to get there in time to meet this mysterious sir and deliver the package, we would have to leave right away. Lucky for us, there was a train that would get us there with just a little bit of time to spare. Chain, LARPing, and Hello Kitty. It was her love for competitive eating that really got me. I've never seen someone so little eat so much and so fast. As you can see, Sue is a badass. She's a super badass. She is more beautiful than nature herself. An arraignment of light. She is my vibrational, mysterious rock. I love her. Before I met her, I was nothing more than a lonely, lost, drunk puppy roaming the gutters to nowhere. So gives me hope and the desire to go for it. Not only does she bring me to hope, so has led me to joy. And joy is rare in a world like this one. A world that is in a constant tailspin soon to hit the ground. And perhaps just in time for old Saint Nick to fuck you hard while you slowly bleed every penny out of your ass. The walls are closing in while your pockets grow thinner. The political rich lie, steal, and cheat to keep the ancient systems floating. I'm not the smartest man in America, but one does not have to be to see the pain that's hidden ever so unslightly beneath the surface. The bullshit is piling. The fear is growing. Danger is everywhere. Pain lies in the forced smiles of your friends and neighbors. He's coming.
Marissa and I were curious. We snuck a peek into the package to see what the hell we were delivering. At first look, I had no clue what it was. Sus said she thought it was a hard drive or something. When I looked at the thing, all I saw was a way out for us. It's too easy. All we have to do is deliver the hard drive and it's gonna put some money in our pockets. But the question is, how much? It's killing me. I had no idea and I couldn't tell Su this. She would have never have agreed to go on this adventure if she knew the truth. I had to keep it a secret. I didn't feel comfortable lying to my wife, but I took the risk. What could I do? I was doing it for her. Secret hiding space, babe. Secret hiding space. The secret hidden place. Where is it? Don't worry about it. It's 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 safe. I got it somewhere. I thought you loved me. I do love you. What I need. What I need. I love you. I love you. futuristic hard drive can do. It looks like a fucking calculator. Maybe it's a bomb and I'm on a suicide mission to blow up Chicago. That would be a huge bummer. Or maybe this hard drive is gonna be used to cheat the vote in the upcoming presidential election. Or maybe it's ransom for some rich guy's daughter and Liam Neeson is going to hunt me down and kill me. Fuck. Whatever it is, I hope it pays me enough to put me and the missus on easy street. I can feel it. This hard drive is gonna change my life. I can tell by the way it feels in my hand. It's about time for my luck to change. I deserve to be the wealthy asshole for once. I can taste the American dream. I'm going to be slicing the cheesecake and blowing the candles out about 2 o'clock in the, um, the observation. I have one big tent, uh, Costco, it's a half a sheet, so it's like this big, so I hope you'll come and have a piece of cake. As the world crumbles, green candles turn to bloody black swans, the chemical warfare plague is coming. And even greed has sold out to fear. Everything is math and everyone has a number. We pretend we can't see, but nothing is transparent. Their lives are in threat. Someone has pulled the plug. It's so clear. You? Me? Are we all fucked?
I'm hungry. I know you're hungry, but we said we were going to eat breakfast instead of dinner because it's cheaper, remember? I'm hungry now. I know you're hungry now, but it's, it's expensive. Maybe we can eat the pretzels that we bought yesterday. I'm No. No? Okay, well, I mean... Look, we're here on a job, we're on a mission, you know? What? You know, once we drop off this box or whatever it is, then, you know, we'll get out of the ghetto, we'll get our back on our feet, you know, we'll, we'll just hang, hang in there, we'll be... Uh, I dream of eating. Look, when we get to my mom's, I'm sure she'll make us a giant Christmas dinner of, like, really good food. This uh, didn't feel like sleeping next to me on an empty stomach. I don't blame her. Things always get a little intense when the money's low. Brokenness never helps a romance. Do you think Julia would have killed herself for Romeo if he was poor? Shit, no. I drifted off to sleep dreaming of a suitcase full of cash waiting for me in Chicago. gift for the baby king and in return the baby king will give me the keys to the kingdom I just have the feeling that soon I will be rich and everything will work out I might even donate a few bucks to the homeless we all know they need it it's easy to roll with the spirit of generosity when you're up it's peaceful joyful and there's no place better than Chicago to be rich at Christmas Fucking Chicago, baby. Let's get it.
。我们为什么不进去 ？Why don't we go in? Why don't we go in? It's just been a long time since I've seen her. I'm a little nervous. That's all. Why? I can't do this. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Bill. The prodigal son returns. Right. Somebody out in the wilderness. Oh, watch your head.、Whoa. This is from Venice.、Shit. Isn't that beautiful?、Okay. Starlight is what they called it. It's very retro and mid-century modern. Nice, mom. Are you going to tell me about this? Yes, Bill. So, so. This is so interesting. This painting came from a man that was off in the wilderness, couldn't handle being in society at all. He captured the、mm. delicate touches of what a plant is like, and what a leaf is like, what a tree is like. You know, yeah. Or a bush. To me, it reminds me of、uh-huh. a family tree. Yeah. Family、right. trees are so complicated and so intertwined. That's what's so exciting about life and and relationships and family. You know the tree、Whoa. of life. You know, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that looks like the tree of life. His work went viral. Wow. It is worth thousands of dollars now. Isn't that something? So you just never know what's going to be valuable and what's not. You know?、Right. Yeah, yeah. This is the little box I got in Thailand, up country. In Thailand, they greet people and they say, "Are you hungry?" Because the Chinese had a famine, a terrible famine during the time of Mao.、Hmm. Would you like one, sir? Tree of life. Hmm. Yes. So let's move on. This painting is from Germany, Berlin, East Berlin, originally. You know, when the wall there was a wall. Wilhelm von Hansing is the artist. He was so tortured by the separation of, of family and relationship and being torn asunder. It represents turmoil, treachery, and the twistedness of politics. You know, Germany is very clear on politics. Very much a country that has really been torn apart and has tried to stay together. And I think they were successful of it. You know, finally the wall was torn down. Yes, you can see it signed by Wilhelm there. You see the silver in there. He actually had to smuggle it across. Very treacherous. I was so fortunate to to get it done. But now that he is gone, it's more valuable. I really want to show you one of my most favorite prized possessions. Truly, Bill, I'm not all about things. I really am not. This was from Joshua Tree. I got Kitty Nutter out there, the performance artist. Yeah. And Kylie, her social media influencer. They were out there doing some kind of retreat. It was such a spiritual experience to be with both of them. That country out there. Is For dinner, or are you staying overnight?、Mm. It's Christmas. Bridget Rivers. Happy holidays. 
What? The presence of one another is the true present. What the fuck? I'm taping right now. Get out! There's no meat that's green. We wouldn't want to eat meat that's green, now, right. would we? Well, th no, this is great. Thanks, Mom. This is a lovely Christmas meal. We're very happy to have. It's so good to see you. I am it's amazed. Good to see you too, Mom. And Sue, so, it's been so long, really long time. You know, I learned something along the way. Shikong, Shikong is amazing. It just helps you flow through the energy of the universe. It, it really releases uh, stress and. It creates power, too. One of these Shikongs was uh, outlawed in uh, China. Falun Gong. Yes, it was. It's an exercise? One can I? Well, it's body movement. It definitely builds up strength in, in, in your muscles because of the postures that you do. But it's flowing. It's moving. It, it's like the river here. Shigong. Shigong. Yes. Shigong? Shigong. That's Falun Gong. That's the one that was outlawed in, in, in China. That sounds excellent. Yeah, it yeah. really is. It's just an amazing, amazing thing. I learned it when I lost everything. It was like a spiritual fire, which was such a blessing. So you probably wouldn't believe this, but I had nothing, absolutely nothing. No roof over my head. I had the clothes on my back. But they forged steel that way, you know, like the, the swords of the, the Knights of the Round Table, Game of Thrones. When they forged steel like that, they used fire. And, um, you know, it makes you stronger, you know? Mm. It's kind of that old adage, adage that you hear. The, the most powerful tools in your life mm. can be free. Mm. Yeah, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm glad yeah. you found some people. That's good. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But I learned this other thing as well. The art of allowing, you know, or receiving, mm. whatever you want to call it. But I started to think about allowing and you know allowing is like you break it up and it's all owing but it's that gift presence okay i get it what? i get what's going on here i owe you a lot of money and that's clearly why i'm here to try to pay you back I, i'm working I on something here mom here. and that's what i'm doing here i had no idea that's why you showed up on my doorstep like that oh sure yeah i leave for 20 years and i just show up and you don't think there's there's gonna be a conversation about money i don't want your money yes you do I don't need your money. I don't need your money at all. Yes, you do, and that's what I'm doing here. No, I don't need your money. I am so happy. I would never have been a YouTube star if you hadn't left me. So I am blessed. You bless the river, you curse the river. This river keeps going on. I am happy. I took an Uber into the city for the big hard drive swap meeting. I didn't want to take any chances being followed after the exchange went down. I left early so I could scope out the corner. And I was getting anxious to get my hands on my money. Besides, my mother was driving me nuts. I was ready to strangle her with piano wire. As we got closer and closer, I was sweating something gross. My mind was running wild as excitement and paranoia flooded my veins. Christmas was haunting me, laughing at me. Ho, 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 ho. Is today the first day of the rest of my rich life? Or will I be shot in the face five times and dumped into the river? I had no idea who this sir fella is. He could be dangerous. It's time to meet the wizard.
Are you sir? You, you're sir, sir. Okay, I get it now. Like I thought, I was thinking it was gonna be a a, a, a man, sir. But you're sir, handsome pansy bark bark. You're the gold bug. You can call me Oz. You're Oz. Yeah. You're the one that hates Bitcoin. I don't hate Bitcoin. I hate China. Why? China is trying to rip us all off. China's taking what it can from us. China's the one. They're taking our money. China's the one. China's taking all the gold. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Tulip bulb. Tulip. Repo market. Repo market. You better take your kids and hide them from China. China is trying to control the U.S. currency. China is trying to knock us out. China is hoarding gold. China is hoarding gold so that we end up on the streets. We end up no food, poor, can't even get welfare because America's gonna take away welfare because there's no more Bitcoin. We really all should hate China at this point. I'll go to my room then. Yeah, that's right. Shut the fuck up. You know who pays for the bills. Let's go. This the guy? Yeah. <laughs> you know what we're looking at here? Bottoms. Hitting bottoms. Bottoms, bottoms, bottoms. Right here. Chinese bottoms. Right there and right there. We don't like to see that. We don't want to see this. I don't like these. You don't like these. No, we don't want that. <laughs> okay. You know the tulip bubble? You know yeah. the dot com oh, bubble? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're right on the edge here. The veils are coming up. Curtains are being lifted up. Economic meltdown. Global level. Fuck. Why 2020, bitch? Why 2020K? You ever heard of that shit? No. I bet you fucking haven't. You wouldn't be here right now if you heard about it. Are you fucking prepared? No, I didn't even know that was a thing. No, you're sitting right here in front of me. You're not fucking prepared. No, you're right. You know what the feds are doing, though? They're fucking printing money and they're funneling it into the U.S. government, huh? Yeah, I can see that. What are we doing right now? We're keeping interest rates low? How low are they gonna fucking go? Are they gonna go to fucking zero? Huh? Capitalism. Capitalism, huh? Yeah, everyone thinks capitalism is the root of all evil. Capitalism is not the fucking root of all evil. Capitalism is the root of production. Shit, you're right. Everyone's gonna fucking blame capitalism, but you know what it is? Mm, no. It's the fucking Chinese government. They're trying to make a whole new fucking currency. Buying gold, selling low, controlling Bitcoin, huh? You know what they're gonna do with those bottoms, huh? We're gonna fucking take the US currency. It's gonna drop down to fucking zero. And you know what it's gonna do to me and you? We're gonna be on the fucking streets. Crying for food and water. Trying to suckle the teeth of the Chinese government currency. All right, I see it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. Oh, fucking shit. Right? Ah, I did not fucking think that this was possible. There it is. Fuck this, though. Nope, nope. You gotta take it back now. No? Sorry. What do you mean? What do you mean, no? I'm putting myself in danger. You're putting yourself in so much fucking danger. Wait, I'm in danger? You're in danger. Why did you want me to bring this to you? I just want to see if it was real. Right, okay, but um, I still get paid though, right? No. <laughs> did you read the contract? 
The, no, I, um, well, no, I mean, the guy just told me that all I had to do is bring this to you and I would get paid. That was it. That was the deal. No. Uh -uh. Nope, that's not how it works. It only, you only get paid if I put that thing in the computer. You have to plug it in to get paid. Okay. I'm not fucking doing that. What is this thing? It's better that you don't know, actually. I, I don't want to know. Nope. What am I supposed to do here? I, I, I came a long way to give you this box, and I, I don't have a job. I'm out of money. I don't know. It sounds like a you problem. Please. You, 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 you have to know somebody in your field, some other tech person that could help me, that would want this thing. All right. All right. All right. You ever heard of bumper lap? No. What's a bumper lap? Bumper lap. Bumper lap is a fucking utopian, hippie, Bitcoin maximalist scum. Oh, bumper lap's a man. It's a person. Fuck that guy. How do I find him? He's in Vegas. Bumper Lap is in Vegas, and you're gonna take that thing to Bumper Lap, and you're gonna fuck him in the ass with it. You better fuck him. I wanna hear all about it. Tell me all about it. Okay. The whole world was coming to an end, and I was now confused, lost, and still broke. Sir Handsome Pansy Borkbork's dad gave me a ride home. He didn't say one word. Nice guy. I had no idea what to do next. Today is Green Day, so, you know, so don't you want some dinner? I mean, after all, I have broccoli, I have zucchini, I have spinach. Broccoli has calcium, zucchini has a lot of potassium, and of course, spinach has iron. I usually don't do much protein. Tony, my Why do we steal your mother's car? We're not stealing it, we're uh, borrowing it. I don't believe it. I think I just missed her exit. Where are we going now? We're going to Las Vegas to meet somebody named Bumper. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's a little weird, but... We drove across the country in mother's car, which I 100% plan on giving back. Once I get paid and get myself a Tesla, I won't need her car anymore. No, I was trying to focus on the road, but I kept seeing mother's dumb face and hearing her stupid words. There is no one else, only you. We slept in the car by the side of the road to save on what little money we had left. When I woke up, I realized I had no idea who Bumper truly is. I needed to find answers and fast, but had no idea where to start. So suggested that I Google it. Welcome back to Bumper's Lap. Mind, body, soul, and crypto. Gravity, and we don't talk about it. 
we talk about the weather? Not everything's gonna be a riddle. Or is it? You're a stooge. I love puzzles and Easter eggs. Not so much the Easter fuck bunnies. All lurking behind door number 33, waiting for a wink and an invitation to the secret elephant handshake room. They're out there. 2020 hey, is fucking real. <laughs> I think you're trading the market, the market's trading you. We're simply trading our own personal belief systems, what we think will work. That is the only way out. We want what the universe wants and have no expectations and just straight fuck off. Idiot. Grass. Oceans, trees, wind, nature. Life is a scam. Even if it's a corrupt voice in power, we still, as an all, allowed this to happen as a river. Fuck Bitcoin, fuck China, fuck you. In the future, what currency will be used to buy a cup of coffee, Bitcoin or gold? I don't care if in the future I'm gonna use a cup of gold or a, a Bitcoin to buy a cup of coffee. Truly, it doesn't really matter to me. In my opinion, it will most likely be a combination of the two. What I think is a more important question is who will be the main controller of the world's economy in just a few short years to come. Who's gonna be the leader of this new world? Any one of these guys willing to play the money greed game is already positioning themselves. Countries, governments, presidents, millionaires, cartels, mafia, tech giants, everyone is putting the fingers in the pie. So the strings, they're gonna be pulled. So what about gold? So gold, yeah, gold is always gonna be a part of the story. Good day, all you crypto rebels. It's me, the Bitcoin bobber and holy young boy shit. Do I have a crazy hot, fully exclusive crypto news story that is super fresh? And this is sad news. Legendary gold bug. Sir Handsome Pansy Bjorkwork is dead. Like, totally fucking dead, okay? My secret source has told me she has been murdered. I can tell you who that is, but I interviewed her arch rival, Bumberlap. This is what Bumberlap had to say. Check it out. Even though Sir Pansy Handsome Bork Bork and I did have our differences, I just want to say that I would never wish this sort of thing on her. I know to the common man that she's gone, but to someone as grounded as myself, I would never see it that way. I do want to send her family love and her father. I know he's a good guy. She's dead. Sir Handsome Pansy Borkborg's dead. How'd you find this video? Sida. Yes.
just like an angry chupacabra with the fire up his ass, dog. What? You have a very small penis, Bill Williams. Uh, wait, how do you know my name? You are a very famous man, Bill Williams. Who are you? Hi. I'm Poppy Jr. Son of Poppy Sr. Proud heir and thrown to the Ortega cartel. Hmm? And you have something which belongs to my father, Poppy Sr., Bill Williams. Which means you have something which belongs to me. Give me the hard drive, and I will not cut off your head. And I will spare your family. I know that, 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 that. Shh. Now, give me the hard drive, Bill Williams. You want the hard drive? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's in my car. Let me. Let me call. It. Whoa! This isn't over, Bill Williams. Sir Handsome Pansy Bork Bork is dead, and Poppy Junior, the son of the Ortega cartel, just tried to steal the hard drive. What have I gotten so myself into? I decided not to tell Sue about Poppy Jr. I didn't want to scare her. I could tell she was already stressed. Hell, I was stressed. My blood was thinning, 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 thinning. I wanted to turn the car around and go back home, but there is no home. I had to hang on, no matter what level of danger lies ahead. Just relax, Bill. Stay focused. Breathe. Breathe. in Las Vegas, I shit my pants. I could feel eyes breathing down my neck from every direction. I had to get this hard drive somewhere safe. voices outside my door, voices that were calling my name in anger, then laughing at me. The laughter sounded like hungry wolves. Am I going crazy? After hiding in our hotel room for two days and no word from Bumper, I went hunting. Hello? Bumper? Who's this? Bill Williams. No. I, I, I'm the one that's delivering the hard drive to you. I got the package. I'm in Vegas. No. Oh, Bill, you're... did you read your contract? I mean, can you... It says don't contact me. I mean... Meet I... me at the rendezvous, Bill. Can you tell me, Lee? The rendezvous. I'm okay. I mean, so, fuck down. Rendezvous is where... Meet me at the rendezvous. I had the dream again, but this time it was different. 
I was frozen butt naked like a child and Santa Claus didn't look like himself. He was holding a large knife and he kept giggling at me. Something that isn't right here. I had to get my bearings straight. We needed some fresh air. Las Vegas distract us as long as we could. We even won a hundred bucks at an electronic craps table, but then gave it all back at an easy money slot machine. So and I are down to our last hundred and sixty-eight dollars, and I still have no clue where or when this rendezvous with bumper lap is supposed to go down, and I feel like we're running out of time. I started to hear the voices again. Who am I? Am I just a loser from Loserville? Yeah, okay, so I spent my mother's retirement fund on an internet startup scam, sure, I'll admit that. I take risks sometimes. But I'm also a guy who lost his job, his car, his home. You know, I could be you. I might be you. I don't know, maybe I'm an empty-bellied number in a long line of empty-bellied numbers made to punch a clock and slowly die. I can't accept that. I won't accept that. Every second that goes by, another cocksucker is getting rich, hitting his jackpot in this gold-laced town while I sit here like a dumbass waiting. The clock keeps ticking, and my breath is getting tighter with every second's tick. Bitcoin or gold? Gold. Oh, uh, whoa. Well, Bitcoin. War, medicines, insurance. What do they all have in common? Death. Space, time, are they the same? No, I don't think so. How many fractal hours of the day are there? Two? You're the fucking alligator, aren't you? You are fucking Bill Williams. All right, tomorrow. You meet me for breakfast before my workout. Breakfast? See you then. More than 10 well, what's your room number? 333. 333? Three, 333's three, three. three, three Bill. Patience. Time, space, energy. Where are we? 
I couldn't sleep. My eyes were glued open and I was tossing and turning in the bed. Bumper called me at 6.45 in the morning and said he couldn't sleep either. He asked me to come meet him early so he could catch me up to speed on what was about to happen. I was excited. I was finally gonna figure out what I was getting paid and get paid, as well as figure out what the hell this hard drive does when you plug it in. Further we go. Further we go. that I'm supposed to, de to deliver to you. Do you want to open it now, or do you want to open it later? Good work. <laughs> Brilliant. No, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait. We're going to plug that in right now? That'll stay here. We're going to go out for a little bit. Then we'll be back. Yeah, um, um, that's fine. That's fine. Bumper, his assistant Rika, and the two genius hacker kids that work for Bumper insisted on taking Su and me out to a Vegas-style buffet. Bumper had recognized Su from some of her food eating challenge videos on YouTube. Aren't you Su? The one who does all the food eating challenges? Su da. Yes. Oh my god, I challenge you to a who can eat the most eating contest. And everyone here is gonna take part. As we began eating like wild hogs, Bumper told stories of the economic crash that was ever so near. <laughs> the economic crash is upon us. I mean, you just have to be blind not to see that it's the end, and the end is a new beginning of a new era of a... He talked of stocks plummeting, the housing market around the world collapsing, blood will be in the water, everything falling at once. The sharks will eat the old whales that are stuck in the old 1.0 system of finance. He said, a wildebeest will give birth to a baby wildebeest. It's not pretty, but at the end of the vagina tunnel, there is life. And that's when I threw up. And one by one, everybody at the table followed. Except for Su. She won the eating contest. Of course. If you haven't gotten a hotel room yet, you might be interested in the sticker shop. Even small hotels and motels have an influx of tourists ready for the big bash. From downtown to the street, 330 to possibly 400,000 people are expected at this year's New Year's Eve party. So when did they all sleep? There's a limited supply of 150,000 hotel rooms in the valley. So last-minute travelers have slim chickens at eye-popping prices. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Crypto. Oh. So I thought we'd be the Yeah, so Bitcoin. Bill, good to see you again. Billy boy. There it is. Slosh is very good for your skin. Doogie, put that somewhere. We're going to plug this thing in, right? Not yet, though. We've got time, Bill. 3,000. <laughs> Come have a seat. Sit down for a minute. Yes, you, my friend, are about to make the entire planet rich. Doogie, what blockchain are we on right now? BTC. BTC? BTC. I'm focused on BTC. Bill, you know why? Makes me look pretty. What did I mention to you before? 
I only care about BTC blocks right now because it is destroying everything else around it. Destroy to rebuild. Yeah. Bill. Here's the deal. Uh, Sir Hansen Pansy Boycork has been murdered. And I'm pretty sure we've been followed all the way here from Chicago, yeah, so... I know you were followed, because I had people following you as well. I think we should plug that hard drive in now, because... Uh, you know, it's got to be done before uh, the Y2020K, right? Bill, Y2020K? Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> Honey Boo Boo sold you on Y2020K? Gold miner rubbish. Hmm. Huh. Well, okay. Right. What about the midnight thing, though? We got to turn that thing on before midnight, or else it's it's invalid. It's not going to work anymore. We have until one a.m. The fractal hour is midnight, Bill. Midnight. I thought you knew that. Fractal hours of the day. There's two. Twelve. Yeah. Right. There are two. Twelve. Twelve to one. One. Yes. I expect a little more out of my MVP. Uh, basically Bitcoin. So you're saying until after one, then we can do, but I don't... 1 a.m., we'll be back up here. So there is no Y2020K, then? Was there a Y2K? No. So open your fucking eyes. History repeats itself. Right now, we're gonna go enjoy ourselves and bring this new year in. Okay. 2020, Bill, let's do this. Okay, so after 12, that's what we're doing it then. After 12, before one though, but what- Shut up, Bill. Okay, yeah, I'll trust you, I trust you, I trust you. Relax and enjoy yourself. Okay. <gasps> what? You need to go, go away. What are you saying? Just go. Go where? What? Run. Get out. She's bad. She's a really bad person. You don't want to be. Who? What are you talking about? <sighs> Just fucking run. One of the first things Rabbit taught me, there are no rules, okay? Yeah. Okay? Midnight. All right? Yeah, Drink. Least... One for me. China's got big plans, Bill. And the power to take over the entire financial universe. Oh, yeah? You were sent here with the one tool that can stop and reverse the event from happening. Uh-huh. 7.53 billion people on Earth, and the world thinks there's only 250,000 metric tons of gold, yet China sits on over 100 times that amount right now. Hmm. All that goes back in their new digital currency. They plan to destroy every currency known You're to man right. at once. American dollar, zero, Bitcoin crashed, the yen, the euro, all drained down to zero, and China rules the world. Unless Doogie can plug the hard drive into the computer, connect to China's blockchain and fork it, we airdrop China's coin to the people around the world and everyone is set even. The poor become even with the rich. China's wealth becomes the world's wealth and everybody gets a piece. Anybody with a bank account, Venmo, crypto wallet, if you have a way to receive currency digitally, you get your piece. It's brilliant. All right, watch this one. Yep, yeah. it's going up top. So that's it. Yeah. That's how I get paid. Hey. That's how everybody gets paid. The hard drive is the key to resetting the whole global economy. And with the amount of gold that Bumper says China has stockpiled, it's enough gold to put $125,000 into the pockets of every living person alive. No one has any more or any less. The game starts over. And I am the equalizer. The rich will hate me, but the poor will build shrines in my honor. Fuck the American dream. This is the world dream. My mind and eyes are open wide, probably due to the mysterious drugs Bumper shoved down my throat. I can now see the beauty in chaos, and it is in the chaos that lies the answers to the universe. Nothing is random in chaos, and it is not random that I am the one who is going to change the world. It's chaotic, yes, but in the theory of chaos, it is the nonlinear automagical science Everything happens for a reason, and now we are here. 
changing the world. You have to have chaos in your life, in your heartbeat. If your brain doesn't have chaos going on in it, then you are having a seizure. You are not hearing with your ears and you are not seeing with your eyes. We are never in the conscious mind. In the random order of, but, um, but my point is, fuck, wait, what the fuck was I talking about? Happy New Year! We did it, man. Happy New Year. Yeah. Um, Destroy to rebuild. Bill. Should we uh, plug in the the hard drive? Not yet, man. We got we got plenty of things to do before that. Enjoy right. this moment. You're right. China rules the world. Uneducated nigga, you feel me? Still at this point right now. Called B coin. It's a third of a penny right now. You might want to go put a hundred dollars on that shit, because you fucking want to make a thousand dollars overnight. Is he coming? We're followed, bro. I said we're being followed, bro. Don't look. Idiot. Travel much? Needed the walkway to the. It says hotel. It says Satoshi. It says Satoshi. I know, bro. We'll meet her at the walkway to the parking lot. It says it says Satoshi. Fresh meat, Bill. The markets are eating up like fresh meat. Bill. The whole goddamn economy's a wash, Bumper. You know, my friend Bill. Bullshit. We're gonna save the world. Yeah. <laughs> Bill. I'm taking him back. Yeah, I found her, Bill. Bumper! 
Anybody see Bumper Lap? Guy named Bumper Lap. Soldier named Bumper Lap. On behalf of Rabbit and myself, Bumper Lap, we present to China the hard drive. Mama Zhongguo, thank you. China thanks you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Wait for your money. Will do. Oh shit, he's awake. Doogie. I found the bottom of the hole and I hit it hard. When I woke up, I was naked and in pain. I honestly thought I was dead, but I wasn't. I was just barely alive, living in my own personal hell in the middle of nowhere. My clothes were scattered all over the desert, along with my dignity and my broken heart. As I collected my items along with pieces of my brain, I tried to put the puzzle back together. I realized my greed for the dream had grown too large and taken control. And now, I'm left with nothing. No hard drive, no money, no gold, no crypto, and no soot. And that's the part that hurts the most. And my poor mother. I don't think she'll ever forgive me for fucking her over twice now. So what happened? Truly, I have no idea. My guess, I was played. I was a mark from the beginning. So worked for the Chinese government as an undercover spy. Part of China's currency takeover plan had multi-levels to it and had been in the works for years. And I was just to his assignment. Her orders were to find an American man, make him fall in love with her, then break into his computer to make him think he has a job offer, when really the main goal is to turn him into a loudmouth conspiracy theorist who will start a YouTube channel and speak about a bunch of untrue fake news facts to cover up what really happened. You don't believe me? Well, guess what? I'm not the only one. There are hundreds, maybe thousands of other honest folks who went through something similar to me in my story. They designed it this way so that nobody will ever know the truth. We're all pawns in the game, no matter what you believe. I was just trying to live my dream. My American dream. But to be honest with you, I didn't deserve it. I'd become the greedy little shit pig with tunnel vision on the brass ring stuck up the bunny's ass. So in the end, I, in the end, I, in the end, I, I, When's the Bill Williams? Poppy? Told you I would catch up with you. Oh. Ah. Huh? No, where's the hard drive, they say? Give it to me now, or I will cut off your little dong, and I will put it in your mouth. Give it to me. It's gone. It's gone. What are you holding in your hand, huh? They took it. It's gone. They took everything. It's all gone. <sighs> Fuck. Son of a bitch! Fuck! Ah! I can't go home now. My father will kill me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Poppy. I wish I could give you the hard drive, but... So in the end, I wasn't the one to catapult us into the new world. But I also realized I didn't need to be. The new world is here. You're living in it. How do you like it? Welcome back to the show, Fact Fuckers. I am Emmerich Alexander, your host for the world's number one podcast in truth, conservative values, and the art of punching fake news right in the mouth. Now, before we get started, I want to say a few words about our amazing sponsor, Grogain. 
don't know about it, Grow Game has one of the most amazing promises that anyone could ever make you. Their guarantee is that you take two of their pills and your penis will grow two inches in two weeks. And it will completely change your life. My penis has now grown up to three and a half inches. And so you never know what's going to happen when you take this. But guys, there's no shame in the game. Women are giving themselves silicone implants in their breasts. They're giving themselves Brazilian butt lifts. And don't even get me started on the people of South Korea, folks. These people are robots. But I'm going to save that for the other episodes coming up next week. Right now, we're going to talk about another evil, yellow, red, commie hellhole of a country, China, and what they are doing to threaten your American values and your way of life, people. I've got a one-minute tape that the CIA gave me of a secret interrogation of a top Chinese spy as they break her down. She is going to be convicted of espionage. She's probably going to be put to death. But this, for the first time, is real evidence that we are at war with China. This is not fake news. This is the truth. Now, because of privacy issues, I had to mask the Chinese spy's face. We had to alter the Chinese spy's voice. Yeah, I've got to keep my source at the CIA, of course. And let's be honest, I don't want to get killed myself. They know karate. They know jujitsu. Their torture methods are far more extreme than anything we would consider to be humane. I have heard stories of them taking a scalpel to a man's pee-pee hole, twisting it counterclockwise, just to find out the name of the man's dog. We are at war, and we gotta be a very low profile here if we're gonna get this top secret information to you out there, the listener. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you the tape. You're gonna watch it, and we're gonna break it down bit by bit and examine how this woman was broken down by these CIA genius interrogators and we're going to talk about the significance of this tape. Let's cut to it. All right. Tell us again. From the beginning. I have already told you 20 times. Look, we know you're a spy working for China. We know who your uncle is, and that's not all we know. Even though some things don't add up or make sense, we still have enough evidence on you to lock you up in the hole for the rest of your goddamn life. So, listen to me carefully. I want to help you. But if you won't work with us, if you won't give us something... I'm afraid the hole is all I'm going to be able to offer you. Basically, you're fucked, baby. You're bluffing. Oh, yeah? We are bluffing, are we? You want to tell us about Bill Bill? Yeah, that's right. Bill. If I never fall in love with Bill, he would never caught me. And for that, I should die a slow death. Wow. You saw it here first, folks, on Fact Fuckers. Now, as of yet, we don't know who Bill Blank is. His last name was bleeped out on the tape that we got from the CIA. So we don't know whether Bill is good or evil or what his exact role is in this entire conspiracy. But we do know this. The Chinese spy bitch is guilty. Wow.